Well, waiting for results. That is exactly what a Boma woman says she's been doing all while self-quarantining. She got her test about a week ago. 12 News investigator Lauren Hinsley spoke with her over the phone today, and Lauren's also broadcasting remotely tonight. Lauren, what is the one thing that this woman wants us to understand? Jordan, Shannon Bounds wants her story heard. Shannon Bounds says the wait time is simply unacceptable. She was tested on the 17th and still does not have the test results. She says she wants her story heard because she wants something to be done to curb these long wait times. Now, let's go back about a month ago. On March 4th, Shannon Bounds tested positive for the flu. She self-quarantined as a precaution. And her symptoms, well, they persisted a cough that wouldn't go away, difficulty breathing. On Tuesday, March 17th, Bounds was tested for the coronavirus. The sample was sent to Quest Diagnostics. Her results still aren't back yet. She calls every day looking for answers. They informed me my results still weren't in, and they said now it could be up to eight days because they are just so overwhelmed. It's very frustrating. It's making me anxious, stressed on top of how I already felt. Now, according to Shannon Bounds, she says her test results, she's being told, could take anywhere from 8 to 10 days. We contacted Quest Diagnostics. They did not return our call. We did a quick Google search, and we found other TV stations reporting people waiting for the coronavirus test from Quest Diagnostics, and they're not happy about it. Now, in a statement Quest Diagnostics shared with another TV station, a lab person says that turnaround time for these coronavirus results can take between three to four days, but that can be impacted due to the volume uh, or they're, that they're getting in. So we're going to stay on top of this, see if we get a response from Quest Diagnostics. Lauren Hensley, 12 News Investigate.